My name is Amy Smith. Uh, all my students call me Amy. Hi, my name is uh, William Neville. I teach political science and uh, my students call me Mr. Neville. My name is Stephanie Capus. I'm Greg Gildersleeve. I teach uh, English uh, composition courses here. Students call me Stephanie. I teach math here at Grantham University. My name is Michael Lewis Turner. So my name is Sarah Powell. And I teach English 101, 102, and 361. And, and I teach the science classes here at Grantham University. I teach political science at Grantham University and my students call me Mark. Hi, I'm Mark Olson. And if that name sounds familiar to you, it's because I wrote your textbook for this course. I wrote this textbook because I wanted to share with you about my journey through college. And that journey was more than just learning facts. It was really a journey about discovering who I was, my worth, and what I was about. I wanted to invite you through this book into a similar journey and an adventure that you are going to experience throughout college. My first experience in college, um, you know, I walked onto that campus thinking I knew everything. Well, my first semester in college, and I had a teacher, and I remember him saying, yes, yeah, some of you guys did really well, and as expected, for some of you guys, there was a lot of blood. And I think I quickly had to humble myself and realize, you know what? Everyone's in the same boat. We are all new to this. We all have to kind of band together and figure this out as uh, as a cohort. And he said it just like that. There was a lot of blood. My first semester was at uh, Goldsmiths College, University of London uh, in England. I remember on my first day, we were handed massive booklets of information and I started reading as soon as I could for the first few weeks. But by the end, I had not read nearly enough. And it kind of put me on notice up front that, wow, this is, okay, so this is college. And so my advice would be to stay on top of the reading, of the lectures you have to do. They're not gonna hold my hand, they're not gonna baby me through this, and so I've gotta really be on top of my stuff, so. But if you fall behind towards the end of the, of the class, you're really gonna be like, wow, I should have read 200 pages, but that's impossible, but 30 pages a day or whatever isn't too difficult. My, my uh, college experiences were somewhat different. Uh, like a lot of uh, people, I was told to go to college right after high school because you'll get a good job and all that. Well, I didn't want to do that. When I started out school, I was a pre-med major, which is not a major, but it uh, means you're a biology major with a chemistry minor. I wanted two things in life. I wanted to be a comic book writer or a rock star. You don't need a top college degree for either of those. Life intervened, that didn't happen, and belatedly I went back as a non-traditional student. And one of the required classes is general chemistry. And I remember having gone to the first day of that class that I learned that my high school chemistry did not prepare me um, for that class. Get help and don't be afraid to ask for help. I asked for help when I was in college all the time. It's okay, that's how you succeed. My college experiences were very valuable to me because they helped me discover who I am. College changes you in a lot, a lot of ways and it's really in a lot of good ways. And that's an experience I wouldn't have gotten anywhere else. Because you're learning so many different ways to just deal with life that you never really thought that you would learn while you're in college.